Hello creative friends, this is Joy coming to you again with another art journal page. I decided to do something in my smaller art journal. This is 9 by 12 art journal and um, I have no clue what I'm going to do. Um, but I have this page where I, I did like some jelly printing on it and it didn't come out the best as you can see. Um, part of it like got missed but I do think it's kind of cool. I like the colors and I've got some texture in there. So I think I'm going to start with this and just add to this page and see where it takes me. So uh, I will fast forward through the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. So I had this um, stencil, it's called Show Offs, um, that I wanted to use on this page of um, a peacock feather and I'm just using um, just some craft acrylic paint um, blue and yellow I wanted to put some blue on here and then some yellow around the edges and then of course where they blend together um, you know it ends up being a green color so I did that uh, in the areas where the uh, jelly print didn't really print very well um, so I thought that would be you know the best place to put these little stencils of these uh, peacock feathers and of course I, I wanted them different heights and, and the this one here is kind of going off the page it just uh, adds you know more interest to the page and here I'm cleaning off the stencil on another page. Um, one of these days I'll come across this page and hopefully the uh, print printed image of the peacock feather will inspire me. Here is a stencil um, that I got in a kit from uh, Tracy Batiste and um, I'm using uh, red craft paint here to stencil this onto my page. I really I'm liking this stencil. It's a, it's a new one that I got um, not too long ago um, and I've used it in several projects now and, and I do really like it. Cleaning off the stencil uh, on another page so there you go, another page started. <laughs> and here's some turquoise that um, I'm going to stencil some circles uh, on this journal page. So here I'm just um, putting, continuing to put these uh, turquoise circles on my page. I like to overlap the other stamped or um, images on my paper and the other colors it just adds for more interest and um, I really like the way that this page turned out um, originally when I uh, started it I had no clue uh, where I was going with it what I was going to do with it but it eventually did come together um, and I was happy with it um, in the end here I'm just trying to clean up whatever paint I had left on this uh, page so that I could um, you know use that for some other project some other day this is some silver paint that um, I had bought actually I bought a kit or a pack of metallic paints and I think there was like six different colors of um, gold and copper and silver and I just had to use the silver um, and I'm really liking these paints um, this is a Balzer design stencil so I decided to uh, use it with the silver paint and um, get some um, some more texture on this page And I got a few more places I wanted to put the silver paint. And down the side there. 
And here is um, an Adirondack wash. It's a um, purple. I wanted to um, finish coloring whatever white of the paper was showing. So I sprayed that on there and, and rubbed that, you know, around um, to make sure that that was uh, covering everything and also, you know, to try to pull some of it back up off of some of the colors that I had there previously, um, just so I wasn't completely overpowering everything. And then I um, put a little bit of gesso on my page and rolled it around. This helps unify everything on the page, all of the elements, and it pushes everything into the background. Um, I'm just taking a baby wipe and kind of rubbing that around to make sure that it's evenly distributed, but also to try to help pull up some of that in some of the areas where I wanted it to show more. And just um, spraying some water on some areas where I want to pull up a little bit more of the gesso. And there you have it, the background. Um, I decided to try doing a tape transfer. I've never done one before. Um, I've seen different people do them. And so I thought, you know, let me try that and see what how that goes. Because this is all a part of, you know, just playing, experimenting, and having fun. So I thought, what's the worst that could happen? It not turn out, and then I just, you know, do something else. You know, figure something else out if this doesn't work out. Um, but this did work out pretty well. Um, I don't know that this image, uh, it, it's an image I got from a magazine. I don't know if it was the best image to use for this because the paper it was on was kind of a, kind of a, had a waxy, plasticky feeling to it and the water was beating up on it. And so you could see I was literally peeling off uh, the back layer of it just to get down to the um, fiber paper in between, I guess, the page, so that I could try to start getting some of the rest of that um, off of there. And um, it took some work on this one um, to get uh, all of that off of there or get most of it off of there. Um, but in the end, I did manage to get it to an acceptable state. I had to use my thumbnail a lot to scrape it because it just was not wanting to come off. Um, so yeah, it was it, it made quite a mess too, but you know, it was uh, fun to do. As a matter of fact, like I said, this was my first tape transfer and uh, after doing this one, um, I am kind of hooked now. Uh, my granddaughter came this weekend and we did journal pages and um, we did tape transfers for our journal pages. Um, she did a couple and did a journal page and put them on her journal page. And, and I also did a couple that I did um, and put on my journal page. Um, when my granddaughter comes, I don't really get an opportunity to do a video of what we're doing. But I do uh, post on my blog um, pictures and show what we did. So if you're interested to see what we did this weekend, um, head over to my blog. Um, it's joysart.blogspot.com. The address is also at the end of the video. So here I'm just trying to clean it up, um, the mess that it made, and trim it up a little bit. And then I look to see how you know, it looks on the page and I decide more of the fibers, paper fibers need to come off. Um, so like I said, it was a, this one definitely was a lot more work than the ones that me and my granddaughter did this weekend. They come, typically you can just with your finger, just roll the paper fibers off. But yeah, this required some scraping with my thumbnail to get it, to get the fibers off of there. Um, but yeah, it eventually, they, it eventually comes, uh, comes off and, and comes clean. 
Uh, me and my granddaughter also this weekend um, did some little cu couple little treasure boxes. Um, I saw a video recently from Annette Kessler um, where she had some small boxes that uh, she painted and decorated and put together and, and then um, put different uh, like gears and things on it like uh, steampunk style and um, I was like wow me and my granddaughter could do something like that that would be a lot of fun so I found some jury little jury boxes and we painted them and decorated them and um, you know glued them together and then I had some little charms and some little um, gems that we decorated them with and they turned out really really cute so uh, there's also pictures of that on my website if you're uh, interested in seeing that as well so here I, I um, put it on my journal I get my scissors out with uh, different cuts and it wasn't cutting <laughs> Um, the tape so I just grabbed my regular scissors and decided to trim it into more of an oval shape um, instead of just having a square shape I just I liked it um, in an oval shape so here's a little piece of deli paper typically what I like to do is um, if I have a, I have a quote um, that I found in my stash I thought would uh, be appropriate for this page and what I like to do is usually put it on deli paper and then that way I can move it around and put it wherever on the page because once you glue it down the deli paper kind of disappears anyway into the background but uh, after I started writing this out on the deli paper I realized well this is I want to put it in this corner and so I just figured I might as well just do away with the deli paper and just start writing it on the page. So I decided to stick my image down and then get out, um, you know, the quill pen and ink and just start writing it on the page. And it's a, a nice quote about um, believing in yourself, having faith in yourself, and you know um, and having confidence and everything you know will turn out fine that's why uh, I named this journal page believe and have faith so this is pretty much the journal page um, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out and so I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.